clashed with Gardaí as the Queen carried out her controversial visit to the gardens of Garden of Remembrance, as Tracy McGee reports on a day of demonstrations and violence. These are the scenes the guards had wanted to avoid. Around 200 Republican Sinn Féin and Eregi protesters clashed with officers just 400 yards from where the Queen was laying a wreath at the Garden of Remembrance. The trouble flared an hour earlier when the protesters began throwing missiles at police lines. The violence quickly escalated. Police responded with pepper spray. Fireworks and bricks rained down on Garda officers and the riot squad quickly moved in. At times, protesters and Gardaí were involved in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Dublin from early morning had been swamped with thousands of Gardaí intent on keeping the peace. But just before one o'clock, it all started to unravel. Eregi protesters managed to reach the spa at O'Connell Street and stage a sit-down protest just yards from where the Queen's cavalcade was due to pass. Scuffles broke out when the guards tried to push supporters back and it looked like the situation would end in violence. But the Eregi supporters decided themselves to move on. After laying a wreath at the 1916 Rising Headquarters at Moore Street, they then moved to the bottom of Parnell Square, where they staged a mostly peaceful, if noisy, protest. The opportunity presented itself. There was a number of us able to get into the, to the middle of O'Connell Street and had a sit down protest. And obviously, you could see the reaction of the yards literally clumping down on everyone else who was about the time. Uh, we had also taken a decision that we would be putting ourselves into a situation where the, the, the Garda could actually arrest people here because we're conscious of the fact that we have a number of other protests organised for the day in Dublin, further protests organised for tomorrow in Dublin. And certainly we're not going to give the Garda the opportunity to uh, arrest and uh, take the organisers of those protests out of circulation during the next 48 hours. This is as far as the protesters have been allowed to go. They're some 400, 500 yards away from where the Queen will be laying a wreath in the Garden of Remembrance. And between her and the protesters is a ring of steel and literally hundreds of Garda officers. But at the top of Parnell Square, it was a different story. Gardaí were under pressure to hold the line. The security barriers, which had been intended to prevent trouble, became weapons in the hands of the protesters. At half past three, as the dignitaries were gathered at the Garden of Remembrance, 1,000 black balloons were released from Sinn Féin headquarters in Parnell Square. For the protesters at the bottom of the street, it sparked a cacophony of noise. But at the top of the street, no one seemed to notice. The rioting continued for over an hour and a half after the Queen had departed. Calm was finally restored and Gardaí have confirmed several arrests have been made. Tracy McGee, UTV Live, Dublin.